today is going to be a really quick video. I'm going to show you guys how to properly do a bald cap for your wigs and lace fronts, all of that stuff. The first thing you want to start off with is your hair in this type of base. Now, I like to braid my hair straight to the back. And this is how it looks. So a lot of people were wondering in my last uh, video when I showed you my ball cap, where I got the actual stocking cap. In your local Walgreens, it should be a little section that sells knee highs. These knee highs will be in a whole bunch of skin tones. And I believe you get three of them for $2. So this is what it looks like. And it's actually a uh, knee high. It's not a stocking cap. But I found that these work better because it's a little bit thicker and the color is dead on it makes it look like you're totally bald. So the only thing we're gonna use today is the got to be spray spray. And we're gonna use this to adhere our caps our head. Now I just like to take a little bit on my finger like that and I kind of put it on my baby hair just to brush them all out of the way. You wanna make sure they're all out of your way, girl, because with these um, lace fronts and stuff, it needs to be out of the way. All of my baby hairs are back as far as they're going. So I do have a little bitty forehead. So this is as far as they go going, girl. Then what you want to do is take a blow dryer on medium heat and you want to like dry your baby hairs. So here's our cap and you want to stretch it a good amount and we're going to put it on and slide it forwards. And ooh, I don't want to mess up my eyebrows girl. So I'm just going to gently, <laughs> gently place it. You will have a little bit of cap left over. All you have to do is go in and cut that. So that's like no big deal. I just cut it just like that. Your cap still won't go anywhere. So your next step is to take your got to be and spray it right on your hairline. Like a good spray. Like try to make sure it's fairly coated well right above, like right above your hairline. Now you can either sit around the house and let it dry on its own, but I actually like to take my blow dryer and help the drying process just because I'm impatient. So it's about 75% um, dry. I'm just gonna go washing dishes or something. When I come back, it should be dry. Okay, so everything is dry. I'm gonna take some scissors and uh -oh, cut. If I'm looking up, I'm looking at my little monitor up here. So you just want to cut. And um, you kind of peel it back just a bit. And try to cut as close. To your hairline as possible. Try to cut as close to the cap as possible. My hairline, I'm sorry. Hey, what's wrong with my scissors? Because you definitely want to make sure you get off that remaining cap so it's nice and smooth. 
And if your cap is down like a little bit too far on your head, you can always like pull it back just a little bit to um expose more skin. So this thing, girl, this is stuck. Like this this thing is stuck. And just continue cutting. You wanna be really careful with these scissors, y'all. So the last and final step of the cap is to take some of your face powder. Um, I'm just using my regular old face powder. And you wanna add this to the cap. And this will help further make that baby blend perfectly. The extra cap that's left behind you can just tuck that under or something. All right, you guys, so this is the perfect bald cap. I hope this tutorial helps you guys figure out the secrets and tricks to this. It's really, really simple. So if you like this video, please don't forget to thumb me up, comment below, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time.